Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff you know, uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. All right, 1993 Acura Legend trying to take the blower motor assembly out. <clears throat> right in here. So we've got uh, two 10 millimeter bolts in the back here. Got some wires. Got the side panel taken off here. Two friction fit things here or maybe something's broken off here already it fits in those two holes uh, remove the glove box I think is what we're gonna do next Two sets of probably eight millimeter screws, two there, two over there. We'll take those out and get the glove box door off. Looks like this uh, beautiful little cover was snapped into place up here. It's out already. Friction fit pieces. That's how most of the connectors will be. Push down on the tab to release it. <clears throat> All right, so again, it looks like we've got two 10 millimeter bolts up here. Eight millimeter bolt for the bracket. Got some more wiring here. Not sure about this bracket here, actually. All right. Two Phillips screws for this panel over here. There's three screws over here for this panel over here. And then this is a friction fit. So you get the two slots back there. Gotta pull this forward and out. That's where we're at. I think we're going to be trying to take this bracket off so we can get this out. So it's looking like we've got a screw here, bolt here, a couple screws up here. We're just going to go around here and take all the screws out that we see and uh, see what comes out. It's kind of coming out. We got this wiring harness here we got to deal with, but it probably won't be too bad. We'll get in there with a uh, needle nose probably and uh, squeeze terminals together. Little plastic fingers, squeeze them together and we can pull it through. Probably the same with this one here, right back here. 
And we'll use our needle nose and squeeze them together and we'll pull them out. Oh, practically. Little finagling, you can see it's coming out. Also have the wiring here stuck on. It's my first time doing it, so we're probably gonna undo all this to get the wiring and everything out of the way. And that's what you're looking at, squeezing. That's from somewhere up there. Not sure where it was. Squeezing like that. I uh, follow this harness and disconnect these two things here then we can really swing this out of the way probably Pushing tabs and releasing. I'll squeeze. Oh, that's going to be already out. There we go. Wedged in there. So I might just push this off to the side somewhere where it's not going to be, it's going to be in the way as little as possible. So I might bungee this out of the way, maybe up here. It'll be mostly out of my way. There is just two more plugins though, so we can just undo this blue one. Undo the blue one. Undo the gray one. Like that, and we're out. Totally free from our harness, our black frame. <clears throat> Take this 10 millimeter bolt out here, 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter. We'll probably take this 8 millimeter out for this bracket too and just get this out of the way. Another 8 millimeter bolt for the bracket. So that's what I'm going to be working on. A couple of pretty long bolts. Another pusher just to get this out of the way. So I get my harness out of here.
forgot to disconnect this here but again just push and release so there we are we've removed stuff to get to the blower motor assembly Doo -doo -doo. oh that came from somewhere keep an eye on that Came out right out of here. So if you see a square laying around, that's where it came from. Up oh, another one. Two. Hmm. Tight fit. You just blow a little air in there. If you need to, blow that, but that is removing your blower motor. Let's drop the new one in there. It's got some guide pins, slots for the ends to go through, so whoosh, drops right in. slot there
We'll finish putting the screws in, but that is removing the old blower motor and replacing it. That'll be it for the video, except for maybe some tips and putting it back in if I come up with any tips. But it's usually like the manual says, reverse procedure to install, actually. Don't forget to find the slot and put these back in their place. Got the square slot here. And right here. So there are two squares where they need to be if they're not. Who knows, maybe they're lost by the time you do this job. So, I'm going to slide it back up in the hole. So this was a very tight fit before right here, so. There we go. <clears throat> to put it in semi-level, then lift it up. Guess I can say that's gonna work for me. And we'll uh, bolt it back in. Take some pictures along the way with your handy camera, camera phone, phone camera. <laughs> 